New York City is changing. Here we are in February, and it's been about a year since the lockdowns and the pandemic started. There are still restrictions everywhere. Indoor dining still shut down, although it's coming back around Valentine's Day at 25% capacity. And overall enthusiasm for being in New York City still isn't where it used to be. Meanwhile, landlords, renters, New York City residents, everyone that lives here has made adjustments. And even after all this ends, the city's gonna be different. And the biggest difference has to do with day-to-day -day life. That's different, not just in New York, but throughout the entire country. The way people want to use their apartment is very different than the way they wanted to use it before. To illustrate this, we're going to see a couple of places, one of which is a relic from the past, which hasn't rented because it just doesn't make sense with the way people want to use their apartment today. And the second has been designed to work as best as possible with today's reality. Both apartments we're looking at today are in the East Village. The first place is right down the street here on 14th street let's head inside and see it Here we are in the first place that we're checking out, and this is a two bedroom. Now, right away, you're gonna notice how small it is and how it's not exactly brand new. Now, this apartment's being listed for $1,700, which is absurdly cheap for a two bedroom, but it's still empty. Let me show you why that is. This is all the common space in the apartment, but because of all the doors at this end, you can't put anything here. Over here, you've got your radiator, and that really just leaves this spot right there across the kitchen for a kitchen table. This area right here is seven feet by six feet, two inches. And now that I think about it, you might be able to put a couch there if you mount a TV on the wall over here somewhere, but that's kind of it. Now, in this hallway, there is a closet, but this is the only closet in the entire apartment. Both bedrooms are right next to each other and neither one of them has any storage space. So that means that after you put a bed in either of these, a small bed, you've then got to have a dresser or something else in here for your stuff. The larger bedroom is seven feet, nine inches by seven feet, 10 inches. If the bed's over here, you've got to put storage here or next to the door in that spot right there. Let me show you the smaller room. I might be wrong. This room feels a little bigger. Anyways, it's six feet, six inches by 10 feet, 11 inches. Put your bed by the window. And if you've got the bed over here, you can put storage against that back wall there. No problem. Now, unfortunately, this apartment's just not large enough for two people to live here and work from home five days a week. There's just not enough space in these rooms. And that has a lot to do with why there aren't two people living here right now. Now, the kitchen over here is is kind of basic. It does have a full-size stove and it's got a medium-sized fridge. That's okay. The cabinets are what they are. I think you can open a can of tuna here, but that's about it. This kitchen, believe it or not, has been fine for everyone who's rented this apartment in years past, but now that you're gonna be home a lot, using this all the time to make all of your meals, perhaps you'd wish there was a little bit more here. Now, the bathroom here is very similar to the kitchen. Things here are on the older side. The sink's a decent size. There's a medicine cabinet. Just make sure you've got insurance before you climb in and out of the bathtub because that's kind of a tight squeeze. It's got a window though, that's a good thing. In the past, whoever lived here wasn't spending a lot of time here. But now that this apartment's gonna be used a little bit differently, it's probably better off as a one bedroom than a two bedroom. You could have a home office in one room and have your bedroom in the other. And I think what's gonna end up happening here is the price is gonna drop until one person decides to rent this apartment over let's say a traditional one bedroom apartment that's also in their price range. Here we are on the way to the next apartment and we're quite a bit away from 14th Street. Right now we're headed over to Avenue B. But now that you might not need to take the train every single day, a neighborhood like this might be a better decision. There's lots of little restaurants and shops all over the place. This might be kind of cool. Here we are in the second apartment. And as you can tell, things here are a lot nicer. Now, what's interesting about this apartment is that it used to be a one bedroom. Over there, you've got the front door in the kitchen, you've got the living room, and then on the other side of that, you had the bedroom. However, this staircase was added to give you access to the basement of the building, and two more rooms and a second bathroom were built down there. From the fence to the wall, we've got seven feet, seven inches by 10 feet, six inches. Couch against the fence, entertainment 
entertainment center against the wall. Now this bedroom's got pocket doors to kind of close it off and give you some privacy. Now the bedroom measures seven feet, 11 inches by nine feet, nine inches. Now, because the closet's on this side of the room, that probably means your bed should go over here. And if this is where the bed is, a dresser or something could go right behind me, no problem. Here we are downstairs and you can see it's like another little apartment. Here's one of the rooms and then the other is right over here. There's also a door here attached to one of these. And it looks like this one has a access to a little shared backyard area. That's kind of cool. There's a table and some chairs out here and a lighter. Here's the second bathroom. There's laundry machines in here, so you don't have to leave to do your laundry like you'd have to in the other apartment. In fact, I don't think you have to leave here to do anything. This room is 12 feet, three inches by 10 feet, four inches. And the room that leads to the patio is 15 feet, 10 inches by seven feet, eight inches. Both of these have closets. And if it were me, I would probably use one of these as a home office. And perhaps I'd use the other one as like a den or a hangout space. But if you're a vampire, you might want to sleep down here because these rooms get zero sunlight. If there is another lockdown, you could work comfortably from home from this place. You've got a little bit of outdoor space where you can stretch your legs. And even though overall rents in New York City have taken a serious hit, apartments like this, these are gonna hold their value way better than places that are similar to the first one that we saw. Let me know in the comments, which of these two is your favorite? And then pick one of these apartment tours and I'll see you in the next video.